What's up YouTube and welcome to a brand new video and tutorial. Today we are talking about Instagram and how you get the best quality on that platform. No matter if you are posting feed, IGTV stories or real. So you can get the best quality so that your videos look as good as possible and you get the most likes out of your post because that's why we post on Instagram, right? Let's get right into it. Now you have different options to post your content on Instagram. First, you get the feed, which is limited to one minute and where your posts live forever. Second is story, where the posts are limited to 15 seconds and they will be deleted after 24 hours. The third one is IGTV, where you can upload up to 60 minutes and it will stay forever just like the feed. And the last one is real, which is basically TikTok on Instagram. Actually, it's just a test which runs in Germany and Brazil, but I'm pretty sure Instagram will launch that in any other countries as well. It's limited to 15 seconds, just like a story has the same resolution and it will stay like IGTV or your feed posts as well. Now, all these options have different resolutions and we need to think about that when we export our files so we can get the highest resolution possible on our content on Instagram. Stories having a resolution from 1080 by 1920, 15 seconds up to 3.6 gigabyte, which is not really possible for 15 seconds. But anyway, IGTV, has quite the same resolution 1080 by 1920 60 minutes maximum and 3.6 gigabyte maximum for the instagram feed you have the possibility to go with 1.91 by 1 which is more like a landscape or 4 by 5 which is more like a portrait which I highly recommend because you feel way more out of the screen and people will get more sucked into your video. If you go with the landscape version, your aspect ratio is 1080 by 608. If you go with the portrait version, your aspect ratio is 1080 by 1350. Now we've got our timeline right here and it's a standard 1080p 30fps timeline which doesn't matter at the moment. First we have to change that to our destination size. So I go with story and click on my project and click in the inspector window on modify. Now we choose custom and type in 1080x1920. Now you see black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen. Now you have to scale up your video to about 320%. So the bottom and the top black bars are gone. Move your subject back in frame by using the X axis. Once you're happy with this, smash your export icon, go to settings and change the format from whatever is in there to Apple devices. For the video codec, we are using H.264, better quality. And for the resolution, we are choosing 1080 by 1920. Now, of course, if you are exporting to our other destination, like a feed post, you have to insert now the different resolution. Now simply export the video somewhere you can find it later, bring it onto your smartphone. The best case is you got a MacBook, of course, because you're using uh, Final Cut Pro and you got an iPhone, so you could use AirDrop because it's lossless. Um, otherwise, you could simply put it on an SD card and slide it into your phone or whatever, but make sure to avoid email or something like that because that will downscale and compress your videos. Now, as I mentioned before, my name is Eric. I do Final Cut 10 Pro tutorials and free plugins. So if you into that, check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, smash that sub button down there right now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.